What up? Tyler here from TarverAcademy.com. I want to give a big thanks to LearningBird.com for sponsoring this video. So, what we want to talk about now is we want to talk about how to share your Google Slide presentation with the world, or one person, or someone you want to collaborate with. I'm going to show you all the options for sharing, okay? So, this is similar to sharing any type of other presentation, but this one is applied to Google Slide. So, let's take a look at it, step into our slide. Okay, so we're looking at our presentation here. We're done. We feel good. Good job. Okay, so I want to share it. From this screen that you were on, in the upper right-hand corner, share. And then you say to yourself, okay, I'll share. And so we want to look at that, hit share, click it. Now, that's going to bring up your sharing options, okay? Right now, I'm not sharing with anyone. It's a private link. I can type in the email address of people I want to share it with. So say I want to share it with my um, my work email. So I would type it in. Boom. And I want to share it with my wife. What up, girl? Boom. So I give them access. Right now they have access. I'm like, oh, no, wait, I don't want my wife to have access. I hit the X. Boop. Gone. Okay? She's not been shared with her. She's not have access. Okay? Right now, Tyler Tarver is going to be shared with, and this is not me, this is a different Tyler Tarver. He's a lot worse than human being, being a human being. So go to can edit. If I want him to be able to edit this document, I can. If I want him to be able to comment on it, which means that he'll recommend edits to it or say, hey, this isn't a good part, and I can hit X and clear it, or I can hit check and change it, but it doesn't automatically change it. It has to go through me. Now edit, if you just click can edit, that means they can do whatever they want to and edit it. Then go to can view. I don't want this dude. I don't trust him. I'm just going to let him view it. Boop. Okay. Most of your stuff you're going to want to review unless it's somebody you want to collaborate. I can add a note just says, hey, I'm you. From the future. So we're in there and we want to share it. Okay. Hit send. Boom. That is sent. Now, let's say you make a presentation. You want it to be available to anyone with the link. You don't care who touches it. You don't care who sees it. So you go in here, you go to advanced. You're going to be able to see all of the people you shared it with and specific people can access. I can change that. I can make it for anyone public on the web can find it. Or I can make it only people that find the link. This means it's they can get to it, but it doesn't restrict who comes and looks at it. A lot of times what I found with Google um, Docs or Sheets or anything that has to do with Google and sharing, if they have a different Gmail or a different email address that's not a Google email address, they usually have trouble getting into it. And that's usually because they're not as good at, you know, computers because Gmail is where you need to be. But say they have a different one through their business or something like that, I always try to do a shareable link because nobody's going to stumble upon your link very often. So this way, unless it's something super top secret, just get the link, share it, and let them just look at it no matter where they are or if they've signed in. It just makes your life easier, okay? So on public share with people, hit save. Boom. It's shared with anybody. All they can do is view it. I can get the link from up here. Command copy. And then I can share that with anybody I want, okay? And that's how you share a Google slide, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, check out learningbird.com. Give them a big thank you from me, Tyler. And check out TarverAcademy.com. Thanks for learning today, people. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com.